Old certainties have been swept away by the pandemic. New horizons beckon smart, proactive football clubs like Lake Norient. Its partnership with the Sidemen, a group of astonishingly successful YouTubers, offers access to a huge, unrealised audience, primarily aged between 19 and 25. Toby Brown, or TB Jizzle, as he's known to a new online generation, understands that followers are the new currency. The seven Sidemen have 110 million YouTube subscribers. Their videos have generated 27 billion views worldwide. Even he's surprised by the scale of the interest. Yeah, um, I mean, I don't even know how to explain the numbers to you. We have a, a very dedicated and loyal, I guess, fan base or viewership. Uh, they tune in to watch us every week and they're attached to our personalities and our different like characteristics. They relate to us in different ways and I guess that's what keeps them coming back for more. Mm. What was the genesis of, of the partnership that you've got with Leighton Orient? We were looking for a place to film football videos, essentially, and then when we put out the video, they had a huge amount of positive feedback with the fact that we were just recording here. And Josh reached out to us and uh, he said, you know what, we'd like to make this a bigger thing. We'd like to have a partnership with you guys. And we kind of snapped at the opportunity to support a local club, especially during the pandemic. I live in uh, Stratford, so just around the corner from there. <laughs> Funny enough, I'm a Man United fan, so I get told off a lot for not supporting my local club. <laughs> but they can't get at me now as we're doing something here to help support um, Leighton Orient. Mm. What do you think Leighton Orient get from you guys? Probably one of our biggest pros is the fact that we have a viewership worldwide. So people that might not have heard of the clubs in the lower tiers of English football will now have an affiliation with the club and a positive sentiment towards the club. They might see it passing on TV or in an article online and think, oh, that's the team that Sidemen are working with and have a positive feeling towards it. Going to a Premier League match now doesn't leave you with much change from £100. <laughs> no, it doesn't. What you're doing, are you reaching the audience which is almost excluded economically from modern football? I guess in a sense you could say that. I feel like back in its early days, football was a working man's sport. Like, you'd work and you'd go and watch the football with your, with your son or daughter or whoever. Um, now, ticket prices are ridiculous. Like, I've been a lifelong Man United fan and I was only able to afford a season ticket for the first time last year. And sod's law, uh, it's the year the pandemic hit. I didn't get to see <laughs> half the games. But um, yeah, it's, it's, I'd say we are bridging the gap in that sense because people can support from the comfort of their own homes for free and they feel involved and they look forward to the games every week, you know. Generations collide, but instincts and individuals are complementary. Leighton Orient chairman Nigel Travis, a fan for 61 years, runs the club on what he calls a challenge culture, developed as a senior executive in the US corporate world. Innovation is encouraged. Every staff member, however humble, has the freedom to question the status quo. Football's pioneering spirit is alive and well in League Two. In the time that you've been a supporter, You've seen the ups and downs of this football club. Those ups and downs, well, the downs in particular, have been quite recent. Did that help create the ethos that you're putting into practice? I, th I think we are so motivated to make Leighton Orient successful again, but we have to do it in every aspect of the club. We must upgrade both our commercial side and upgrade our fan experience. We truly believe that the average attendance we had before the pandemic, which was five and a half thousand, we can get to 7,000 in a few years. We do that by engaging with fans, but making the experience so much better than it's ever been before. So the future of football, is it bright? I truly think football, the future of football has never been brighter. And I think we will look back in three years and say in the days of the pandemic sprung the future of football. And that is really great with a different type of fan base? With a younger, different, more diverse, and more engaged. 
We want this to be a seven day a week, 24 hour connection. 